So the mechanics of our base defense game work, but we need to keep track of the game state so we can find ways to keep the player more involved. And we'll do that by keeping score and coming up with a threat that ends the game. And the process here is the same as we've seen in other videos. We'll go to data, we'll make a variable and call it score. Now we'll need to set the score somewhere, and I think it's logical for us to make our base be sprite that keeps track of the score. So with the Earth selected, we'll go to set score to zero. From events, we'll take when the green flag clicked. Let's assemble those together. And now we'll increment the score each time we destroy an incoming missile. So we'll go to the target, our spaceship, and we'll add a data change score by one block, and we'll put that right here. Okay, so now we have a way to increase the score. We can see that score button in the upper left-hand corner is increasing, but when we miss the target, it just sails right through the base. We need to make this missile a threat. So here in the scripts for the incoming target, we'll need to check to see whether we've collided with the base, and if so, we'll broadcast a message game over, and we'll print a little message that ends the game. So from control, let's get an if-then. From sensing, we'll get a touching, and we'll set that to earth. And then from control, we'll get a stop all block. And we'll put that right here inside that forever block for the incoming missile. Now when we run this, now we will see that when the missile touches the earth, the game just stops. That stop is a little bit abrupt. We really need to find a way to make this ending look a little better so it's more pleasing to the player. So from this incoming spaceship, we will broadcast a message that will enable the Earth to print a message ending the game. So let's get events, broadcast, we're going to set up a new message, game over, and instead of stopping everything, we're just going to stop this script because we don't want to end the whole game until after the Earth has printed a final message for us. So now we'll go to our Earth base, and we will, when I receive the game over message, we're going to print two little messages. The first one is going to say, Oh noes! And the second one is going to say, I is exploded! And then we will, under controls, uh, stop all the scripts, and the game will really end at that point. So let's see what we've got. Oh noes, I is exploded, and then now the game actually ends. So we now have a game that will send us an endless supply of incoming missiles. So we've seen this broadcast block before in many ways, but what's new is this custom block. The game works, but it's kind of boring. It does keep score, but the game never gets any harder. In our next video, we'll look at a way to make the game get harder, which will keep the player's interest for a little longer.